My name is Spencer Taylor, co-founder and CEO of Boston-based startup Evaptators. And this is my refrigerator. It probably looks a lot like the one in your home. Granted, it's a little messy, but it does a great job of keeping my Chinese leftovers cold. And to be honest, aside from wondering why it groans while making ice, I didn't give it much thought. I certainly never saw it as a tool in the fight against global poverty. But it turns out that 21% of the world's population doesn't have access to electricity. Without electricity, you can't have refrigeration. And without refrigeration, 45% of the produce that's grown in Africa spoils before anyone can eat it. While refrigeration gets less attention than water filters or solar lights, I want to show you the incredibly powerful role it has in locking people into a cycle of poverty. Let me introduce you to Hamid. Hamid lives in the tiny village of Ain Mirsa with his father and his brother's children. There is no refrigerator in his kitchen. Buying groceries for Hamid is a hardship. He prepares to be gone for the day, walks to the nearest Grand Taxi pickup point, waits as long as it takes for a car to come down the road, and rides to his local souk. He goes from stall to stall, finding the best vegetables at a price he can afford. And because this is time consuming, he buys lunch at the market. Once he's finished, he finds a Grand Taxi heading back home. He pays extra for storage. During this process, he can't work to earn money, which means that he loses the opportunity for a day's wages. And this total that you see doesn't count the money that is lost on spoiled food every week. With weekly earnings of about $52, these trips cost 60 to 90% of his income. And here's the crazy part. During the hot summer, his food only lasts two to three days, which means that he's repeating this process two to three times a week just to keep his family fed. If you imagine all the people who are forced into this routine, you'll begin to see the magnitude of the problem. The Evaptainer was created to help families like Meads. It works by harnessing the power of evaporative cooling. Water is poured into a specialized evaporative material, and as the liquid turns to vapor, it takes energy with it, cooling the unit up to 35 degrees Fahrenheit from ambient air temperature. This can extend the shelf life of food from two days to two weeks in warm and dry climates. The Evaptainer is completely electricity independent costs under $30, which for someone in Hamid's situation, pays for itself in less than three months. Our current model can run for two days using only one liter of water. I've worked in agricultural development in countries from Liberia to Haiti and Vietnam, and everywhere I go, I see a huge need for refrigeration. Now, people in Nigeria, they actually have a really neat device called the Zero Pot. And it's an evaporative cooler, and with this device, they can actually double or triple the shelf life of all the fruits and vegetables they store inside. So my idea was pretty simple. It's to take this rudimentary device and to bring it to the 21st century with modern technologies and modern design techniques. Morocco is an amazing place to start a company like this. We're already working with families throughout the country, and they're giving us great feedback. We're going to use that feedback to create an awesome product and eventually reach millions and millions of people. The latest version of the EVAP painter is collapsible. This allows it to compress down into a box a fraction of its size, reducing the carbon footprint in shipping and making it easier to deploy into the field. EVAP Tainers is currently testing our design in Morocco with families like Hamid's. We've been working on the field for nine months and we find that the spoilage problem is really big in Morocco. We figured out that there is a lot of families that have in food spoilage and the problem is even widely spread. There is one million families without fridge in Morocco. Attempting to create this much change in the world can't be done by one entity alone, which is why we depend heavily on funding and support from partners like National Geographic, USAID, as well as engineering expertise and supplies from 3M. We built our first prototypes more than 3,000 miles away from here on our own dime. Since then, we've won grants from National Geographic, USAID, Mass CEC, and a sponsorship from 3M, all of which have allowed us to continue to grow the company and follow our passions. Our goal is to help 700 million people who live without access to refrigeration. To find out more or get involved, visit our website at www.evaptainers.com.